everybody seemed to have forgotten that we're out here because we are so far removed. But because we're so far removed, that's why we need the help. And we know the beating that they took out in Port Mansfield. Hurricane Hannah coming ashore just 15 miles north of that seaside community. And after a change in course, residents left with little time to prepare. Channel 5's Rudy Mireles, you saw him there all day and all night on Saturday into Sunday uh, dealing with uh, and reporting to us from Port Mansfield. But the story is after the storm and how members of the community have come together for each other. Caliche and weeds. That's what surrounded the shack Raul Flores and his wife turned into their two-story home 12 years ago. Moving to town shortly before Hurricane Dolly, he says he and his neighbors expected help to come as it had in the past. With very little time to ready themselves as Hannah upgraded from tropical storm to hurricane overnight, they needed the aid more than ever. But they were alone. The next day we had nobody. And the next day we had nobody. And the next day we had nobody. Yeah. So we said, well, I haven't eaten for three days. I better do something, you know. With the one road in and out of Port Mansfield flooded and blocked by downed power lines and utility poles, they had to come together as a community. Like many of his neighbors, they needed supplies like ice for food and, more importantly, medications. Everyone did what they could. The guy from uh, across the way, that's a bait shop, he owns that one over there. Well, the power was gone, he had no generator for, for that one, and so he posted, come get all the ice you want, you know. And, uh, and if somebody get, got through and went somewhere, uh, like to Rainville, they call you, what do you need, what do you need, what do you need? You know? Chamber of Commerce President Bill Gregson was one of those neighbors helping during the hurricane. We, we went out during the, in the eye when it kind of slowed down and I was checking on residents and whatever we could do to help and, and then we got back in as soon as it changed because it was, it was really, I think we had 90 mile an hour winds. After four sleepless days, he isn't stopping. We're helping other people that aren't here and we're, we're running generators, keeping them filled for them and anybody that needs help or whatever, we're, we're trying to help them out. For Flores, the uncertainty has him worried. With no help or word from outside of Port Mansfield, he may lose what he and his wife built 12 years ago. I've heard reports of another week. Well, if that's the case, um, I need to, whatever's here is here, let it go and then take off. It's not the potential loss that hurts him. It's being forgotten. Uh, we just, we just want to be treated like everybody else. In Port Mansfield, Rudy Mireles, Channel 5 News at 6.